All right, welcome back. We're here at the Cleveland Botanical Garden, and guess what? This is what it's all about. Their 16th annual orchid show. I'm here with Her Majesty that I'm going to take it easy on her, babe. <laughs> Don't freak out. It's a, it's a Adele joke. I didn't call you babe. How dare he call her babe? It was a Adele joke because she's from London. Okay, good to see you. Thank you. Good so, to see you, So, another fun fact, because every time we come back, we're doing a fun orchid fact. You said there's orchids that after they're pollinated, they change colors to yeah. tell everybody, okay, we're done here. I've been pollinated. Yeah, the orchids, they're, they're pretty kind of uh, cute. Some of them, some of them will... Um, draw the bee in mm -hmm. and then actually not give them a reward and it's like okay you've done your job of pollinating off you go, off you go. and then there's others that say we'll change color and so no worries we're done you don't have to visit a us. A plant does that. <laughs> now this is pretty amazing this is one of your favorites this is the Darwin. This is the Darwin or okay. orchid the Anagrasium sesquipedale. Gesundheit. <laughs> <laughs> Latin helps us to know all around the world which plant we're talking about and this is incredible because when Darwin discovered this plant he did not know what creature pollinated it right. but based on all of his hypotheses at the time he predicted that it needed to be a creature with a very long tongue okay. that could reach all the way down to uh, so this the little tongue appendage. goes all the way down yeah, this trying finding its its reward its nectar down there and two decades later they discovered the moth that has the 20 centimeter tongue that can reach down there. <laughs> and there's only one moth. And there's only one moth the whole that world. can do it. And, they and found so it. that's this relationship, the stunning relationship. See, that's crazy. Okay, the <laughs> slipper, you like the slipper. Oh, this I is love pretty this interesting. This okay. Slipper. So, that, I mean, just look at the beauty of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got the coloring. I don't know if the camera can get close enough, but these tiny little hairs yeah. all the way here. Oh, I you, see those now. Yeah, and you can see how glossy it is in the center of the flower, and that's tempting the bee to go in and go so, and reach down for so that. So the bee is like Kim Kardashian that thinks there's an amazing pot of gold on Oh, there. yes. <laughs> but when they hit this part, that's when they get all the pollen on their back, yeah, right? right so. so they go down here and they really, maybe they find some nectar, maybe not. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter because it tricked it, right? To hit this and now they have the pollen and they go down there and there's nothing in here and then they pop out and they yeah. go pollen. And there'd be a nice little bit of maybe nectar. Maybe a little bit of nectar one, yeah. in that bad boy. Uh, yep, and then, uh, and then on they go to the next, next flower and pollinate. So 3,000 different orchids, as Chris is showing us, you guys have in this show. Pollen, pollinizing. Uh, that's kind of the big theme. You guys are teaching, yeah, yep. pollinating. You're teaching everybody how the different types from bees to, to moths butterflies and, to yes. moths. Okay, and you like this guy. This is, why do you like this, this guy? This one is so cute. I mean, the size of this is incredible. Oncidium, and just look, I mean, look how weeny they are against, the, you know, just your little fingernail. Yet, if you were to see that flower in a close-up photograph, it would have exactly the same characteristics as all other orchids. It's only the scale that's different. Wow. And so this is how orchids can live in, you know, really kind of um, very intimate environments, very, very particular microclimates because they're so tiny in themselves. And I just think, you know, we all love little, little babies, don't they? We and this kittens is full and puppies. This, this is full grown, but it's still got all that amazing cuteness. <laughs> and then we see different orchids along here as well. So. Yeah. Well, here we really thought we'd display orchids in a, in a different way and, um, and not necessarily try and kind of hide all the, 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 the pots and the way that you have to grow orchids. Mm -hmm. This is about how can we display a little differently. So these are collections of our smallest orchids um, in a setting that is, is more relevant for their scale. You know? okay. So it's, it's delicate and, uh, and it really gives you the chance to get in there and see each individual flower. And the show starts tomorrow. Tomorrow, 10 o'clock. Goes through <laughs> mid-March, so yep. come on out. It's nice and warm in here. And I'm sorry, did you say weenie? I did say weenie. <laughs> Look how weenie. <laughs> little weenie there. Little weenie Is that not an American oh, word? Oh, little weenie, man. The little weenie orchid. <laughs> yeah, it's a little weenie orchid. Oh, dear. I must be from <laughs> London. <laughs> weenie. All right, so if you guys have not learned anything yes. from the Orchid Show 2020, you've learned the word weenie. Okay. It's okay. Weenie means small. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let that one lead, I'm gonna lead that alone. <laughs>